Quinn was nine days old and Brady was seven days old when we found out that they had PKU. I got the call from the hospital. It was like a, a shock and I was pretty upset. And they had us come right away the next day. They told us it's treatable and you know that those things that we read online were really just things that happen when you don't treat your child. They actually made us feel so much better. I'm from like sort of a big Italian family and you know food is our life. <laughs> So that was a big adjustment for everyone. They couldn't eat the food that everyone else could eat. Still to this day, some people in my family are like, do they still have that, you know, thing, that weird thing where they can't eat anything? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, they still have that and they'll always have it. They can eat anything with protein, but it has to only be a certain amount. I do weigh everything on a gram scale and, to, and then calculate the phenylalanine. As they've gotten older, they've gotten much more involved in their own care and in their diets and what they can and can't eat and also making their formula. We're still working on them doing their own blood work, but that'll come in time. <laughs> I do brief their teachers every year uh, before school starts. I send them an email and let them know they have PKU and this is what it means and I send them the teacher's pamphlets that they have online that you can send. I try not to make a big deal about it because I don't feel like it is a big deal. I don't have any kids that don't have PKU, so for me it's just sort of normal life. But I still go to the gym and I still, you know, do all the things that I would normally do. I always encourage the boys to do whatever it is that they want to do or try what they want to try and that PKU should never hold them back. It's really just a lifestyle for them, it's not an illness. My expectations for the future with the boys are that they will continue to grow and develop. They'll graduate from high school, they'll go to college, and I'll have to send the formula there and wherever it is they determine that they want to go, and that they'll just continue to be successful humans as they have been throughout their lives now.